On September 3, 1939, the United Kingdom, along with France, declared war against Germany after Adolf Hitler started to invade Poland, igniting the six-year period of World War II. On the next day, an English mathematician called Alan Turing turned up at Bletchley Park, Britain's secret code-breaking center which focused on German naval cryptanalysis, specifically in the deciphering of Nazi Germany's main military communication device, the Enigma. Alan Turing designed an electromechanical machine called the Bomb, a device that searched through all of Enigma's permutations, enabling the British to eventually read all German naval Enigma traffic in secret. Known today as the father of modern computer science and founder of artificial intelligence, Alan Turing's work and contribution at Bletchley Park statistically shortened World War II by as much as two years, saving millions of lives, according to U.S. President Dwight Eisenhower. Alan Turing devised a number of techniques for shortening the code-breaking process of German ciphers, which enabled the Allies to intercept and defeat the Axis powers in many crucial engagements, especially at the Battle of the Atlantic. Alan Turing's machine, the bomb, constantly searched for countless settings that the Germans could possibly use for an Enigma message, making a chain of logical deductions enabling the British to read Nazi communication in plain text. On October 28, 1941, Turing wrote to Winston Churchill to ask for more people in funding so they can create more bombs and channels to decrypt Enigma faster, to which Churchill immediately wrote to his generals, Action this day. Alan Turing was born in Maida Vale, London, graduated at King's College, Cambridge with a degree in mathematics and earned his PhD from the Department of Mathematics at Princeton University. When Turing arrived at Bletchley Park, he decided to tackle the particularly difficult problem of the German naval Enigma device because not a single person was working on it due to its complexity. Three months later, in December of 1939, Turing solved the essential part of the naval indicator system, the most complex part of the Enigma decryption. Turing also traveled to the United States in 1942 to help the U.S. Navy in naval Enigma analysis and bomb construction in Washington also assisting Bell Labs, now known as the phone company Nokia, with the development of secure speech encryption features in phones. Alan Turing is also famous for developing the Turing test, or what he casually called the imitation game, a test that determined a machine's ability to exhibit intelligent behavior equivalent to that of a human, therefore being called the founder of artificial intelligence. Very early in life, Turing showed signs of the genius that he was later going to display prominently reportedly having an IQ 185, despite having weaknesses in his English and French subjects. Despite Turing's exceptional intelligence in science and mathematics, back in the 1920s, schools placed more emphasis on classical studies, with Turing's parents being told by one of his headmasters that him wanting to solely become a scientific specialist is a waste of time in school. In his teenage years, it was noted that Turing was able to solve advanced mathematical problems even without having studied elementary calculus. In 1928, at age 16, Turing encountered Albert Einstein's work, particularly in the questioning of Newton's laws of motion, which he reportedly managed to deduce by himself. Hopefully you liked this video and found value in its content. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, turn the notifications on, and I will see you on the next video.